Hi, I'm Dr. Suleiman Anwar, and I'm a specialist periodontist and a dentist with a special interest in dental implants. So dentistry is one of those things I myself went through um, having a lot of dental treatment when I was younger, and that kind of opened up the understanding of how teeth and especially dentistry can change someone's life. And having lost so much confidence with having really bad and kind of crooked teeth, I, I spent many years having dental kind of um, braces and orthodontic treatment, and um, that gave me a lot of confidence. I had a perfect and an improved smile, um, and that wanted basically allowed me to kind of help others and achieve something similar. So especially with my kind of specialty in dentistry, I'm a periodontist and I'm on a journey with patients. So a lot of them will come in not knowing that they've really got a problem. They've been referred by their dentist. And I will then kind of go through, do a very kind of very detailed diagnostic analysis of their teeth and their gums. And then I will report back to them. And then I will be on a journey almost for life with them because we know gum disease is a lifelong condition. And, and on throughout their, their journey will improve um, their, the health of their teeth, the health of their gums, and allowing them to keep their teeth for a lot longer. So my patients really value the fact that I'm very thorough and very detailed, and I'm very easy to speak to. So often patients come in worrying about dentistry. Nobody likes coming to the dentist. And the fact that when they're here with us, we make it as comfortable an experience as possible, but we give them all the details that they need so that they're fully aware. So with my specialty uh, as a periodontist, we know that patients come in with a chronic condition and they're not really aware of what's going on. So kind of delivering that information to them so they have an understanding, we're reliant on their compliance. The better that they're brushing their teeth, the less stressed they are, the, the, the better they're eating, the less, um, for example, smoking, and all these factors that, that, that contribute to gum disease. If we can relay that and get their compliance, then we're more successful um, as clinicians from our side, but also the patients um, successful in looking after their teeth and gums. So I always tell my patients that if you've got a healthy mouth, you'll have a healthy body. And often we've kind of over the years forgotten that dentistry is part of medicine. So when you kind of think of dental health, you can kind of almost differentiate it from medical health. But we know now with all the research coming out that if you've got a healthy smile, healthy gum, you can have a healthy body. And, and things like diabetes, heart conditions, Alzheimer's, dementia are all related to unhealthy gums. So if we can look after your teeth and gums, we'll be having a healthy body and a healthy person.